Good evening, Chris Hansen here, and today we investigate the current situation regarding AMD's Zen 3 AMD 4 mainboard support. Well, thank you, Chris. Um, there's not a lot to investigate. It's just AMD's business decision and uh, or maybe bad communication. They're not the best in communicating, I have to say. And um, well, first of all, this is how I understood the whole AMD AM4, AM4 thing about platform longlivity that was if you bought a decent AM4 mainboard and it can handle the upcoming CPU's electrical needs like uh, have a good VRMs, power delivery, etc. you will be able to upgrade your platform. You might miss out some features like PCI Express 4, lower power consumption, other improvements, fine tunings and so on but you're fine and if you have cash on the side and you need those features you can upgrade your mainboard. And uh, yeah, IMD seems to have changed the tone a bit and if you bought a nice B450 board, you might be fucked. And uh, I'm not sure if that's so clever because the whole platform longevity strategy was a really good thing to lock in customers for, a few, uh, for multiple generations of CPU uh, purchases. So. I don't know. Um, all in all, you could say, yeah, it's not that tragic that AMD is not guaranteeing uh, Zen 3 support for all their mainboards. Because compared to Intel, uh, they have uh, offered a nice upgrade path until now. But I think they should not have promised like a specific longevity period. And, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter if consumers quote-unquote got it wrong. If millions or hundred thousands of consumers got it wrong, then the company got it wrong. And... Uh, yeah, it just opens the field for the competition, which until now did a terrible job for platform longevity, but now maybe gets a chance. I don't know what Intel is up to. It doesn't look like, but well. And uh, for me, knowing that AMD will support the platform for a long time was a big factor in, re uh, in me recommending AMD for my friends and so on. Besides, they have good CPUs, but I know my friends, they... They like to have a board and they don't need really anything. They just want a new and faster CPU when one comes out. They don't really need more lanes, PCI Express 4, etc. So, yeah. And uh, if you bought a $200 board just lately and then you learn that it will no longer be supported, although it will be easily doable from an engineering standpoint, it's a hard pill to swallow, especially for folks who don't swim in money. And uh, yeah, so besides economics, there's no reason. And actually, I'm not sure if it's really a good economic strategy to uh, dump the, uh, the support for all their uh, all their main boards or chipsets in the long run, because they build up this image successfully for three years, and now <laughs> they just fuck it up. That's it's ridiculous. But that's just my opinion. So. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the strategy until now paid off, and now if they go uh, on another route, that will uh, piss off people. And yeah, so my guess, my guess is that AMD just don't want to guarantee support for all the boards. So main board makers can still be able to support Zen 3, like on a B450 chipset, if they want. Um, I will not be surprised if many older generation mainboards will support Zen 3, but then again. I'm not sure um, who is pushing, AMD or mainboard makers, because obviously a mainboard maker, they would like to sell new mainboards with every CPU generation. And uh, yeah, so yeah, technically it's totally doable to support Zen 3 on all the mainboards. And uh, I guess if one mainboard maker comes forward, others will follow, because uh, it just, just image-wise, uh, the plus. So in my view, at least now, with this kind of communication, AMD and partners missed an opportunity here to basically cement themselves as pro-consumer or even environmentally friendly company. In the last three years, they successfully built up this positive perception, and uh, it kind of seems dumb now to destroy it with bad communication or maybe even customer unfriendly business decisions. Um, and I think that will hurt them in the long run. And if you bought the B450 mainboard lately, you might have bad luck, but maybe not. Anyway, the customers are always right. 
not if you have only a dozen people complaining but if you have thousands then they are and no matter what reason you give them to dump a perfectly fine mainboard for a new one that offers nothing sub substantially new for them in features or performance especially perception is everything so uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, I just want had uh, I just wanted to have an excuse to play Chris Hansen. So, see you.